Israel Hamas deny ceasefire reports. As uncalls for urgent needs of aid in Gaza, Israel and Hamas officials denied the reports that a ceasefire had been implemented in southern Gaza to allow foreigners out of the besieged Palestinian enclave and aid to be brought in amid a deep crisis. Security sources in Egypt said a deal had been reached to open the Rafah border, crossing to allow aid into the enclave from 600 GMT. Hamas official Izzat El Rashik told Reuters that there was no truth to reports about the opening of the Rafah border crossing with Egypt or a temporary ceasefire. It's more than 2,700 Palestinians and 1,400 Israelis have lost their lives during Israel Hamas war. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office said in a statement, there is currently no truce and humanitarian aid in Gaza in exchange for getting foreigners out. In an address to Neset, Netanyahu urged the world countries to stand against Hamas. Meanwhile, Russia reiterated its appeal for an immediate ceasefire in the Israel-Gaza conflict on Monday and urged officials to begin talks to resolve violence. The situation at the Rafah crossing remained unclear. The bombardment of Hamas ruled Gaza continued overnight, with residents saying it was the heaviest pounding yet in nine days of conflict. As a humanitarian crisis gripped Gaza, two Egyptian security sources said Israel had agreed to halt its bombardment of southern Gaza. The Egyptian-controlled Rafah border crossing was expected to reopen to allow foreign passport holders to leave. They said, diplomatic efforts have been intensifying to get aid into the enclave, which has been under complete blockade following the Hamas attack on Israel. Urgent need for ceasefire. Meanwhile, the UN Human Rights Office has raised alarm over humanitarian situation in the besieged Palestinian enclave, calling for urgent need to halt hostilities to allow humanitarian aid into Gaza. Also, there have been very mammoth diplomatic efforts to try to make this happen. The Secretary General is constantly liaising with all the parties that are involved, and many other member states are also exercising what leverage they can. We need the security for the aid deliveries to be able to happen, UNHRO spokesperson Ravina Shamdasani told CNN on Monday. We have seen hospitals that have been forced to evacuate, doctors insisting that they will stay with patients who are in the ICU wards and the neonatal units where you had the impossible choice of whether to abandon your patients or to stay with them and risk death. Access to water, access to food, the forced evacuation of hundreds of thousands of people into southern Gaza has created a very, very difficult humanitarian situation in southern Gaza as well, Shamdasani said. She said there is a significant amount of aid waiting at the border to get in. Escalation risk. Israel's defense minister, Yav Gallant, said his country had no interest in a war in the north. We don't want to escalate the situation. I, the United States, which has given unequivocal backing to Israel, has sent two aircraft carriers to the eastern Mediterranean as a deterrent. I, the United States has also appealed to China to use its influence in the region to ease tensions. On Sunday, Foreign Minister Wang Wai said Israel's response had gone beyond the scope of self-defense and demanded that it cease its collective punishment of the people of Gaza.